All right, so those YouTube fiends made me quit right before I get to that last problem, but I do remember the acceleration of that bucket. That was 4 meters per second squared. Um, so what is the mass of the bucket? Well, now all we're going to do, guys, is we're going to isolate that bucket. So we're going to isolate that bucket. Um, let's do some blue writing on there. So we have a force downward of gravity, and that's going to be an mg. We have a tension pulling up upward back onto this thing this way. Now that is less than mg, because otherwise that would not be accelerating downward, right? So since I'm isolating this bucket, let me, I should have made that a little bit shorter on the top there, because the reason I'm doing this, there, I've got to go under the T. That tension is now an external force on the bucket, and so is the force of gravity. So to find out what the mass of that bucket is, I already know it accelerates downward at 4, because that's what I solved for on the letter C. So now all I have to do is use a little bit of my FEMA magic to find the mass of that bucket. So the FEMA is the sum of all, oops, the sum of all forces, which is the mg minus the t, right? The mg minus the t equals my mass times acceleration of the bucket. And I already know the g because it's planet Earth. I know what the t is. That's 10. It tells me right there. And I know what the acceleration is. I found that earlier to be 4 meters per second squared just a moment ago. So now all I'm going to do is solve for the m right over there. So I've got an m times, um, I'm going to call it 10 if you don't mind, instead of 9.8, minus 10 equals m times acceleration of 4. Alrighty, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the 10 to that side, subtract the m4 over here. So I've got an m6 left over equals 10. So I'm adding the 10 on both sides, subtracting the m4 on both sides. So m is 10 over 6, which is 1.6666666666, whatever, 1.6 kilograms, 1.67 kilograms. Boom! Found my mass of the bucket. Alrighty, so I'm going to hit my next little dealio here. Um, there was all the answers, the 0 0.9, the 6.67, the 4, and the... 1.72, well guys, that's what I get for using 10 instead of 9.8. It still rounds off to 1.7 in both cases. Okay, if I had to use a 9.8, I probably would have come up to 1.72. Okay, there you go. So erase all things on that slide. So I think that probably does it. I don't think we're going to go any further with this thing. Nope, because that's what we're going to use with a, another thing.